Over 60 people from 15 countries came together at the Africa Center for Health and Population Studies in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa, to discuss the engagement of publics with the processes and outcomes of scientific health research in low to middle income countries. Here is a snapshot of what went on. This workshop is also going to provide us with a lot of strategies in as far as public engagement is concerned because as a research institute, Obviously, we cannot conduct research in this community without engaging the relevant stakeholders, particularly the public, that supports the Africa Center in its research agenda. Again, here we have come to, to share different perspectives and experience in public engagement, especially to, to try to find out whether public engagement is effective, how effective it is, how different it is to community engagement. Is there any difference between public engagement and, and community engagement? And what this workshop has done for me, one, is to expose to me to the different paradigms of public engagement. And secondly, the important role of public engagement in determining health research uptake, right from policymakers, right down to the community. And it has given me um, ideas around how we can make sure that health research becomes very relevant to the community in which it is meant to benefit. I think I've found the workshop very interesting thus far, uh, especially around generating thoughts on context-specific situations of engagement. Engagement is not neutral, and therefore we would always, within our context, have to think about the issues and the cultures and especially language challenges that are faced in terms of how we engage and when and who we engage with. So it came out very clearly that researchers and policy makers, there does seem to be some kind of disconnect. And when researchers carry on their single track train of thought with their particular research focus, without involving policy makers at the very onset of the research, the implication is that the researchers are telling policy makers what to do and there's no marriage of ideas. What I found very exciting about this session that I've just participated in is the diversity of opinion, where everybody's opinion has some validity and there are holes in just about every argument. It's out of this kind of diversity of opinion and people's contribution that really makes for good decision making, which is why I believe that when you get people to participate, you get a better result than if you do things to them. What I brought to this uh, uh, workshop is to share with participants uh, about a work of engaging parliamentarians with research. I mean, realize that parliamentarians are a very fluid group and they are busy with many other things. And what we've tried to do is that we provide them with information for them to do their work. They have a role to play, a representational role. They make laws in parliament and they also oversee government's work. So we provide them with evidence and we've realized that it's uh, much easier to reach them through working uh, with the uh, clerks of parliament, through identifying MPs who are champions on particular issues that they can easily bring together other MPs to work around issues. So there's a big disparity and a big gap where research in Africa doesn't get the African coverage that it wants unless it gets international and then it comes back to the African coverage. So we need to work together as a collaborative and in partnership so that we can get African coverage on African research work. This workshop has done two important things for me. Firstly, it's given me good ideas, concrete activities that I can implement when I go home to get information out of the scientific journal and into the mass media, so into the radio, into the newspaper. And the second thing that it's done for me is it's enabled me to create networks, to make uh, partnerships, to make friends with people who have the same problems that I do. The UK um, creative artists have a lot to learn about community engagement from the way it's done in Southern Africa. Um, I've had the privilege to work with um, creative artists communicating science and health and biomedical issues in Cape Town over the last nine years or so. And I'm really excited that we have this, um, I think, critical mass of scientists, um, 
science communicators, policy makers and other sorts of um, stakeholders that can really help us to begin to make science a medium of which we translate how we are in the world. Uh, I decided to explore my creative side mm -hmm. and I've come up with a poem which I hope you'll appreciate. The plant was investigated with scientific thought. A drug evolved. Jeevani, it was called. Normally in a science cafe you get a scientist, a researcher, to briefly introduce his or her field and then you have a facilitated discussion and hopefully a lively debate around a specific issue. I think it's really important for there to be an element of fun. So much of learning in the rural schools is so boring and dreary and it's really important to make it exciting for the children so it'll be memorable. And then I think finally it's important that the children actually do something. The old proverb says, tell me and I forget, show me, I remember, but involve me and I understand. I'm Simon Parry and I've been working on developing the programme for this meeting and also on developing the Wellcome Trust International Public Engagement Programme over the last year or so. Um, the idea of this workshop was to take stock of that first year's progress and also uh, to look at the scope and remit of public engagement around the world that we've started to fund and that we're engaging with in our major overseas programmes. In the last couple of days we've, we've really got a glimpse of that from uh, the work that uh, many of the major overseas programmes do engaging with their local communities, um, from the work of people who are using the media to engage with the public. Um, we've also seen some examples of innovative methods of communication and engagement such as um, theatre and the use of film and the use of informal science cafes. So we've really got a, a broad sense of um, different approaches to public engagement and different contexts for it. Uh, but we think this is only the beginning. This is the first, hopefully, of, of several meetings uh, to bring together a wider community and to help develop uh, a sense of, of good practice and um, what people share and the different challenges that people have to face.